head over to fineartamerica.com. So it's all one word, fineartamerica.com. Just to, to keep things simple, I'll call them FAA for Fine Art America as we go along. Otherwise, you get all tongue-tied and twisted. If you haven't got an account there yet, click the Join and select the Artist Photographer option. Fill out your details and create your account. So what they then do is they'll send you an email. And inside that email is a password. So take your, your login details and log in to FAA. Once logged in, in the top right hand corner you'll see your name. Click on that and that'll take you to your profile area. So the first thing you need to do is just sort of set up your account and to do that um, you need to add in a photograph of yourself and a short little artist biography. Now it's really important that you add this info because as buyers are browsing FAA, they'll often click through to your bio to read more about you before they purchase your artwork. What they'll also do is they'll also often click through to your bio to see what other artworks you have for sale. So without this bio, um, it, it looks like you, you're not serious, you've just chucked up some random um, artworks on FAA. Adding a decent bio it tells them A, that you're serious, and B, because you're telling them a little bit more about yourself, it helps to build up a connection between you and the buyer so they sort of feel like they know you and it's it's nice that you can say oh, I know the artist or, or at least feel like you know the artist <laughs> all right so with your bio complete we can start to add your artworks now if I does allow you to add multiple artworks at the same time but what I suggest you do is just add them one at a time for now until you've mastered the whole process of adding these artworks then you know you're not going to get overwhelmed with all this new stuff. To upload a photo, the click the upload image button. You'll see when you do that, they, they also give you just a little bit of pointers at the bottom of the page on things that you can do to ensure you're uploading good quality photographs. So read through that the first time you upload so that you know what their own recommendations are. It's pretty similar to what I've already told you, but it's good to know. Okay, click the browse button and then upload your first painting. Once the image is uploaded, you can start to fill in the details of the artwork. And to do this, you're going to use your Artworks for Sale file. So copy and paste your title and description from the Artworks for Sale file. Then type in the keywords for the artwork and separate them by commas. There's a little example above and below the, the thingy there, the, the box. It shows you how what format you're going to type them in. It's just um, what these keywords are is what somebody would type in, in, in the search box at the top of the website to go and find artworks like yours. For example, with my painting, I would use keywords like still life, salad, tomato, lettuce, olive, cheese, summer things that are inside the artwork and things that are related to the artwork. It's still life. There's tomatoes and, s and there's salad and there's cheese in it. I've called it summer and I wanted it. It's a summery painting. All right. So once you've done that, scroll down to the artwork categories box and select any categories your artwork belongs to. You can select more than one if it's, if it's appropriate. My artwork is a painting, so I'll click the paintings icon. What's cool about FAA is they allow you to sell prints of your artworks, so you can decide to sell only the original painting, sell prints and the painting, or only sell prints of the painting if you want. We want to sell the original artwork and the prints, so paste in the dimensions and price of the original artwork into their boxes. Also ensure the for sale option, that little drop down there, is set to yes. Otherwise, FAA will assume you only want to sell prints. Then, when the artwork, the original artwork sells, then you've got to come back here into this um, setup 
and go and mark that artwork as sold also by that same drop down box so don't forget that otherwise they'll send your artwork sell your artwork twice and then you're going to have to explain to an unhappy customer why you can't uh, post them their artwork so now how it works with with, with uh, selling the artworks here is if I makes no money out the deal they make their bucks out of the, the print side of things so when somebody indicates that they want to um, buy your painting they'll actually end up contacting you directly so the FAA system will basically send you an email with the guy's contact details and then from there you'll contact the guy direct and he can pay you with uh, PayPal or you can arrange for a direct uh, transfer into your bank whatever suits you know you've got to negotiate now with the customer whatever suits both of you if you want to sell prints of your artwork then in below here in the, you can type in the profit that you want to make on each item in these little print boxes if you don't want to sell prints or you only want to sell specific sizes prints then delete these um, default markup numbers that they've got here so if you delete in other words if you delete that item or that amount in there that item will not be available for sale you can obviously go and type in your own markup there you decide how much profit you want to make on on each of these prints um, what I do suggest though is that stick with the stick with these default values because Let's face it, FAA sells millions of artworks or prints for thousands of uh, artists. In other words, they already know which markup sells the most artworks or most prints. So by leaving it at that, you know you, you've, you've basically maximized your chance of selling your prints. Think about it. The, these markups over here offer prints of your artworks. In other words, if you sell a print, there's absolutely no work involved from your side. FAA does all the work for you. In other words, if, if you sell a, a print, it's money for nothing. So when you don't have to work for the money, then you don't mind making a smaller profit. You would rather keep the price low so that you sell more prints for nothing or do no work. <laughs> Make sense? Then what you want to do is, if you, with these prints, on the right hand side you'll see they give you like a little sample image to show you what the product would look like or give you an idea of what the product would look like once it's been printed take a look at each of those and make sure they look good um, if it doesn't then you either got to decide to not sell that I that type of print or you can hit the customize product button and to go and edit what it would finally look like so you can zoom in and out and move your your image around and so on to to make it look right and, and you could even make it smaller than what it needs to be and then change have, have a fixed background on either side of the of the artwork so you can see here by mine by the phone cases my tomatoes don't quite fit in so nicely so i'll have to go and edit mine so i'll click the customize product button and then we just drag it up a little bit until it does look good as easy as that it's really quite simple I, I usually just play around and, and see which zoom in and zoom out and move it around a bit and so on I usually just play around to see what looks best alrighty so you now you've got your first artwork ready for sale as well as a heap of secondary products all these prints how cool is that it's awesome so you can now not only sell the original but prints of it and you can sell these prints over and over and over again for years to come before you hit the submit button you'll see that there's a little facebook and a twitter box over here FIA can automatically tell your facebook and your twitter friends and followers about your new artworks as you add them to the site so obviously the first time you you do this you need to just connect your Facebook or your Twitter account with the, your Fine Art America account so that they can chat to each other. And then from there on, every time you, you hit the submit button to add a new um, artwork, it will automatically send out a post 
to your Facebook profile saying you've added in your artwork. It adds a little photo of the artwork as well. And it'll also do the same thing for your, to your Twitter followers. So that's pretty cool. Once you've hit the submit button, your artwork then also becomes available on the Fine Art America website as well. So there are thousands and thousands of visitors that visit FAA every single day looking for artworks for sale. So you've got thousands of customers instantly at your fingertips. Obviously, you're not the only artist selling artworks on FAA, right? There are thousands of others, which means that just by adding this one artwork, what are your chances of selling that artwork? Slim to zero, right? Absolutely next to nothing. Um, in order to get good exposure, what you need to do is build up what I call a snowball effect. And the way you do that is to add more artworks to the, to the system. Each of those little artworks then become like a little advert for you. Somebody may see one of the artworks, not necessarily one they like, or not necessarily one they want to buy, but they may like it. So they'll click on that artwork. And then from there, they can click through to your profile. And then they'll see all the other artworks that you've got available. And they'll end up buying a completely different artwork to the one that they originally spotted in the, in the search results. The more artworks that you have uploaded here, the more chance those artworks are going to show up in the search results because remember we've added in those little keywords. So your different artworks are going to have different keywords, right? So as the guy searches for, like with my example, the guy searches for salad, then my s this artwork of mine will show up. But he may then, I've also added still life, so he may add still life. So you, and, and maybe I've got three or four still lifes available. So you may see this salad one of mine. So, oh, those, I quite like this. Let's click through and see what else this guy's got. The more artworks you've got, the more your stuff is going to show up in the search results. It's as simple as that. So by adding more artworks, you're building up your snowball. So if you've only added one or two artworks so far, don't be discouraged. Just keep adding more artworks as you complete them. You'll find that once the sales start, they'll gradually continue to grow. Again, like a snowball. Think of it like a seed. You can plant a seed, but it won't grow until you water it, right? So in this case, the seed are the sales that you make. And the water is the artworks that you keep adding. So keep watering the seed by adding more artworks. The seed will sprout and grow into a nice little money tree. The more you feed it and tend to your seed, the bigger the tree will become. Now obviously you don't have to stop at planting just this one seed here on FAA. You can plant as many seeds as you want by selling your artworks in other places. The more seeds you plant, the more money trees you will grow.